Hey y'all, so yesterday we talked about um, the definition of fear. So this is the um, Google dictionary definition of fear, and it is an unpleasant emotion caused by the belief that someone or something is dangerous, likely to cause pain, or a threat. So, um, the definition of fear from Webster's Dictionary, Merriam-Webster's Dictionary, is an unpleasant, often strong emotion caused by anticipation of danger or the awareness of danger. Um, and, and then again, something marked by this emotion, anxious concern, uh, reason for alarm, that this fear is an emotion, apprehension. That was another one um, that was in here. That m one must have been of afraid. But um, to, and this one, to expect with alarm. And that, you know, that expectation leads to what I want to talk about today, looking at. So those two words, emotion and belief. And I, I think that an easy way easier way, a simple way to look at faith or to define faith is that it is simply belief. When we say we have faith in God, it's that we believe God. We believe that he will do what he said. We believe that he is telling the truth, that he is not a liar, that he does not change. Um, we believe God. Um, and some of you may know this, you may have already read the book, I don't know, but I was in Ollie's the other day, which is my favorite place to find good books, which, side note, um, because Lifeway stores are closing, I think that Ollie's is buying out some of their stock. I have found some incredible books um, at Ollie's the last couple of times I've been. Anyway, one is Beth Moore's um, Believing God. And so I haven't read it yet, but just the cover, like this thought, the, there is a difference in believing in God and believing God. Most people would believe in God, believe that there is a God. I believe in, um, oops, you know, whatever. I believe in God that there is one. But believing God is a totally different story. And that that is why David could say, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, the darkest, deep places of the valley of extreme danger, I will not fear. I, feel no, I fear no evil. I will not be afraid. It's because he didn't just believe in God. He believed God. Now see, David, this David who wrote this, is the same David who in 1 Samuel 17, now you want to talk about... I can, I can preach David and Goliath because um, me should, my Bible is so marked up with David and Goliath. But I love this story. This same man who wrote, I fear no evil because you are with me, is the same teenage boy who went out to the battlefield and said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he would dare defy the armies of the living God? See, David knew who his God was. He believed that if God said, you take this territory, that God was going to see to it that the Israelites took the territory. See, David wasn't concerned with who the enemy was, what the battle looked like, what they were going to have to do. He wasn't concerned about the things because he knew his God would take care of the things. I hope this is making sense to you today. But David's faith was in God. His belief was in God. And so regardless of how desperate and desolate his circumstances appeared to be, which, oh my goodness, David hid in caves because his son wanted him dead. That's a pretty bleak situation or circumstance. But he trusted God. He believed God. And he encouraged himself in the Lord. We've read this before in um, a couple of Sunday mornings uh, getting ready for church. That David would encourage himself in the Lord. And that one place that we see that is in Psalm 103. And 
honestly, you know, most people would read this and then say, you know, it's, it's this is where David says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. And then he says it again, bless the Lord, O my soul, all that is within me, bless his holy name, and forget not one of all of his benefits. David is encouraging himself in the Lord. Um, so we're at five minute mark here, and so we will pick up again tomorrow. But for today, remember who your God is. Remember who your God is, who your shepherd is. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, y'all.